we've got new news about the long-awaited Yesu FTX-1 series. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hamshack TV. I'm your host, Josh, AA4WX. Appreciate you being here. Hey, we are on the drive for 1,000 subscribers. We need your help. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below right here. That certainly helps the channel. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to have an HF radio giveaway. Check the playlist for more information about that HF radio giveaway or go to the website hamshacktv.com for more information. Today's video is brought to you by Ham Radio Prep. Ham Radio Prep is the proud sponsor of the Ham Shack TV uh, Ham Fest Tour, fueled by Ham Radio Prep and World Radio League. If you're looking to get your technician, general, or extra class licenses, look no further than hamradioprep.com and use my coupon code HAMSHACKTV for an additional 10% off their already great prices on those great licensing courses. And they believe you'll pass so well on your first attempt, they offer a money-back guarantee. Appreciate Ham Radio Prep and their support of Ham Shack TV. Hey guys, uh, we did a video back in the fall about the Yesu FTX 1 series. Well, now there's new news about it. We thought it was one radio. Now they've got two different models. So let's get into the details here. Uh, this is courtesy of the Yesu website. This is the, uh, the leaflet. So it looks like we've got two different radios here. The Yesu FTX 1. Uh, that would be the field edition. That is very simple. This is going to be a, what's the word I'm looking for? This is going to be comparable to an ICOM IC705. It's 10 watt version for field operations. So perfect rig for POTA. Uh, if you're okay with 10 watts, me personally, I like power, but, uh, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all can differ or, or this newly announced Yesu FTX one Optima. The Yesu FTX-1 Optima. That is also 10 watts for field operation, but it can also be used as a 100-watt base station. Very interesting. Take a look here. Detachable head, obviously, with the base, or with the actual radio in the back. Beautiful, beautiful display for, for a particular radio. This radio does HF 50, uh, 50 megahertz, 144 megahertz, and 430 megahertz. So uh, your your typical HF bands, 6 meters, 2 meters, and four and, uh, and, uh, and uh, 440, 170 centimeters. Gosh, I couldn't think of it. So let's look at the details on this thing. Uh, no future without the past, donning a new era for wide coverage transceivers with epic uh, making features from the, pri the pioneer of single sideband radios from over 70 years. Um, all right, so taking a look here, uh, memory auto grouping, memory channels are automatically grouped and can be recalled by group bands, QMB, quick media uh, memory bank. Uh, they've got the PMG, the primary memory group. Also, AMS, automatic mode selection. That comes in handy if you're using Fusion, C4 FM, that kind of thing. Uh, transmits bands, 160 meters, 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, 6, 2, and 70 centimeters. So this is a shack in a box, so to speak. Uh, field edition, 6 watts with, supp with supplied battery, or 10 watts if you're on external DC power supply. So remember, 6 watts if you're on the battery, 10 watts if you're on the external DC. Um, FTX-1 Optima, uh, that is a 10 watt uh, operation uh, for field and 100 watts base station. Uh, expanding the fun with a 100 watt RF amplifier for base station in addition to field operation. Uh, so we'll take a look. Here's the front end of it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not too knowledgeable about this kind of thing but i'll let you take a look at that uh, this shows you uh, how everything works in it and then we move in it is equipped with the 3 dss that's the three-dimensional spectrum stream uh, so you get the the, the whole uh, three-dimensional uh, scope here and uh, we all talk about when it comes to this uh, cutting the grass you want to get rid of as much of this little stuff as you possibly can uh, so you can see uh, where the signals are a lot, a lot better uh, three display modes you can see here it's got um, 
It's got the dual band display left and right, so there's that. You've got the dual band display up and down. So the left and right, you're able to see the 3DSS. The up and down, you are not. Uh, and then you've got a single band display, similar to what you would see on a, uh, a Yaesu 710 uh, available there. Various functions support uh, comfortable operation, true dual band operation, including C4 FM, simultaneous receive. Super DX expands the uh, communication range, memory channel scope, function dial, preset mode suitable for FT8 operation. That's something new, an FT8 preset. That's nice. Good job, Yesu. Compatible with uh, Wires X and APRS digital communication. A lot of you APRS fans out there, there you go. It's got QRP mode to set out power to 5 watts or less. Uh, VFO mode indicator. Micro SD slot. Versatile array of functions for CW operation. Uh, C4 FM digital technologies. Outstanding audio quality, AMS, etc. And convenient functions for FM mode. There are several... Uh, several uh, uh, accessories for the field head. You've got the uh, lithium ion uh, battery pack, 400 milli or 6,400 milliamp hours. Uh, you got an antenna tuner here. That's interesting that there's an antenna tuner. I uh, wonder if the, I, I, I'm guessing this radio probably does not have a built-in tuner. Uh, not seeing any indication of that. We'll we'll dig a little bit deeper, but. Uh, there's a tuner if you need it. Uh, this is a, a FC90 tuner. There's a cooling fan option. All kinds of different options here. Uh, protection guard, um, hand mic, uh, stereo headphone, uh, GPS antenna uh, unit if you need the external GPS, Bluetooth, uh, long wire compatible auto tuner. Um, here's a 100 watt uh, power amplifier. It is the option for the field, but it is supplied with the FTX-1 Optima. Okay, so I think I see what may be going on here. The back, This is the radio right here. The backside is not the radio. That is the Optima, or that is the, uh, the amplifier, the 100-watt amplifier. Okay, so we see how this works here. Uh, you also have desktop microphones if you're interested in it as well. So new information on this radio. Uh, that's very exciting. Uh, some folks are still taking in orders. I have seen some indicators that this particular radio will be on display at Dayton Hamvention. And you know what? We're going to be there. Dayton Hamvention is the next stop on the Ham Shack TV tour, fueled by Ham Radio Prep and World Radio League. Uh, so we're looking forward to, uh, to seeing that. And we'll make sure we cover that radio and, and make sure you get a good look at the uh, operations of it. So uh, again, guys, uh, appreciate y'all watching. Um, we are working to get you more content. Again, we will be on the uh, Ham, uh, Ham Radio 2.0 live stream next Sunday, May 11th. Uh, I believe that's at 7 p.m. E uh, Central Time, so 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, we'll be talking about Dayton Hamvention, getting ready for that. A lot of your old favorite YouTubers will be there there, uh, there as well. Again, don't forget about the HF Radio giveaway. Check out hamshacktv.com for more information on how to uh, get entered into that drawing. 73s, we'll see you in the next video. AA4WX, WSCB 693.